So the temperature this morning is uh, creeping up to about 8 degrees Celsius. And that is our expected high for today, which is, you know, low 40s Fahrenheit. So it is still very cold here in Zone 3 Saskatchewan. And in this video, I'm just going to show you a few things that I try to do to work with Mother Nature and wait for the weather to warm up. So one of the things that I'm always doing and every gardener should do is checking the temperature, especially the nighttime temperatures. Looking down the road here, we have some more nights of freezing temperatures. And usually in early May, I start looking at the long range forecast. So a 14 day is usually a good uh, thing to check out. I check it out again, look down the road to see what the nighttime temperatures are. And I can see coming in, even in early June, we have a, a dip in the temperature at night, which is something that you have to make sure you're prepared for. So don't let those warm, sunny days fool you, because um, sometimes, uh, yeah, Mother Nature plays a little trick on you and cools it down a lot at night. So keep an eye on that. So if you're like me and have a lot of plants started from seed uh, that you grew indoors, just waiting to get outside, or if you've already been to the greenhouses and picked up some plants, you want to make sure you got them in a location where you can quickly put them away at night and bring them out uh, during the day so that they get some sunshine and heat. I always keep things in a wagon or in my garden shed here. I have a lot of shelf space that I can keep my plants in. These are my squashes and corn and as you can see they're not too big. They're not outgrowing their containers so you know they're happy so I'm just going to leave them there for now. Something like tomatoes, if you've started from seed and they're outgrowing their seedling pots, it's best just to up pot them into bigger pots if you have to, rather than having them suffer or trying to put them out when it's still really cold. And these are all my pollinator flowers that I started from seed indoors and they're still quite tiny and delicate so I definitely don't want to put them outside yet. And in my garage I have tons of coleuses and petunias and snapdragons that I started from seed. But like I say, if you can uh, find a nice warm sunny location for them in a heated garage or a warm shed then that's the best place for them right now. Of course, winter sowing jugs, those are um, nice warm little greenhouses. So if you have anything started in winter sowing jugs, the best place for them when it's cool like this is right where they are right now. I didn't have a very successful germination rate this year due to some problems with my dogs shaking up a lot of these jugs in the winter time. But um, again, winter sowing jugs, just leave them. They can sit there till early June. So if you have some plants like this that are already uh, popping through and you know you can stick this in the garage and keep it safe at night. I'm going to just try one of these garden cloches that I picked up at the Dollarama. So I got a I think a four pack of them here. They have a nice little air vent on the top and it does fit on here pretty good. The thing is uh, keeping it from blowing away in the wind is always a challenge. So another thing that I picked up at the dollar store is these little stakes here. You can easily kind of poke through this plastic. It's not very strong plastic with the, these little stakes. And just stick it into the dirt here. I'll do another one on this side. So this would probably be more useful if you have a plant in the garden or in a big container that you cannot take indoors. I just wanted to show you this because this is the only plants I got um, that are actually poking through the dirt right now. So something like that will stay secure in the wind. I've got a variety of these from the dollar store. These are little cones, again, that I would use these clips for to, you know, secure them around a nice little pepper plant or, you know, a tiny or tomato. It's also very easy to make your own garden cloches or cloches. I'm not sure how to say that word um, with things that you have around your house, such as I we eat a lot of these uh, cashews. So these make good containers to cover small plants. 
I've just drilled some holes in the top and something like a bamboo stick like this to secure it. So again, if we actually had some plants in the ground in a container that you need to cover, you could just stick it over top of the plant. So then I just make the hole big enough so you can stick a twig or these bamboo stakes that I have and secure it so again it doesn't blow away and it's got some air vents there. So this will keep your plants nice and cozy. The temperatures are not going to be that extremely cold at night so something like this will do the trick to keep your plants protected. So things like milk jugs with just the bottoms cut off, juice jugs like this. So these will all work good as garden cloches in your containers or in your garden. I also have used clear Rubbermaid or these Sterilite brand clear containers with a bunch of holes popped in. Those will set over top of a, a larger plant or a larger area in your garden and protect them as well. So another reason that I like to mulch all my containers and anything I grow with straw, they make a great insulator. These are my lettuces that are already starting to pop through. And of course, with these cool evenings, this straw will act as a nice little insulator to these tiny little greens. You can also use frost cloth if you have um, for nights when the temperatures are dipping and below freezing. Uh, dried leaves, uh, grass clippings, wood chips, those kind of things that you can use to mulch and also make great insulators for your little plants. And of course now all the garden centers are open at the big box stores and grocery stores and greenhouses and if you're like me you like to pick up the plants and vegetables and herbs before they get too picked over. But again you just have to be patient make sure you're watching the weather and make sure you have a plan to keep them safe so you don't lose that investment by uh, putting them out when it's too cold. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and have got a few tips now about how to deal with cold conditions when planting out your garden. I'm very hopeful that the cool nights are almost over here on growing zone 3 in Saskatchewan and I'll be able to plant out all my vegetables and flowers into the garden soon. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.